Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the release preview channel, which is the build 22,000 621.2213. And basically, as I've said, this is the latest build for the release preview channel. In this video, we're going to talk about what is new and what has changed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the release preview channel. And of course, I have some news for you at the beginning of the video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So first of all, some big news, Windows 11 23H2 is soon coming into the release preview channel and basically it is getting closer to the main release because Phantom Ocean 3, Sino Panther, and other people that follow the Windows 11 development very closely notice that Microsoft is preparing a Windows 11 23H2 build for the release preview channel. It is basically an internal build right now and we could see it maybe next week or two weeks from now and I think this is great news because we are getting closer to the official release release of Windows 11 23H2. Now let's talk about this particular update because we have a few changes and improvements. First of all, this update adds new functionality that affects app defaults. And also this update adds a new hover behavior to the search box gleam. When you hover over it, the search flyout box appears. You can adjust this behavior by right clicking on the taskbar. And then from here, you can customize your search box experience. This release also adds a new policy called enable optional updates. Administrators can use it to configure the monthly optional cumulative updates for commercial devices. You can also use this policy for the gradual controlled feature rollouts. Also, this update addresses an issue that causes high CPU use. This occurs when you enable the fblock non-domain policy. We also have a fix for an issue that affects disk partitions. The system might stop working. This occurs after you delete a disk partition and add the space from the deleted partition to an existing BitLocker partition. Also, this update addresses an issue that causes Windows to fail. This occurs when you use BitLocker on a storage medium that has a large sector size. An issue that affects the search icon was also fixed. When you selected, the search app does not open. This occurs after a machine has been asleep and also the reliability of the search app is improved. The tab key was also fixed in this build. Using it to browse search results required additional actions. And also this update addresses an issue that affects start menu icons. They are missing after you sign in for the first time. And basically these are the highlights for this build. Of course, there are a lot more changes and improvements that are not such as exciting, but you can check out the full list in the article below in the video's description and also on the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.